Hey guys, so it's been forever since I recorded a video, so I feel like I owe you guys something so we're just gonna film a get ready with me today and we'll just start beating my face and since it's been a while since I recorded a video I'm like I don't know how to talk in videos anymore and lately I've been super lazy with my foundation I didn't really like wearing foundation stuff so I mainly just worry about concealing so anyways I'm going in with this NYX color correcting palette I'm taking that salmonish color right here and putting that underneath my eyes and lately I don't know, I just like, I feel like I'm not as motivated to record like makeup videos because, I don't know, there's not many like looks that I've been into lately and I don't do YouTube for like a career or anything, I just do this for fun so I feel like I don't have that commitment level and I don't have like large audience anyways. I'm gonna take the green to put that on the redness around my nose. I just naturally have this redness ever since I believe like junior high or something. So I'm trying to think, what should I talk about? Well, obvious elephant in the room is my hair. <laughs> I think you guys saw it in my last video or my last last video, it depends on what I'm uploading. Um, in my unboxing video for the 17 albums, my hair was like a purpley color. And what I did, and it still kind of is purple now, I didn't put as much, so it's not that deep and dark or vibrant like you can see it's not that even because I literally just slapped the color on but what I used is um, the overtone treatment um, Edward Avila talked about it in one of his favorites videos and I used it in deep purple or something I, I don't know I'll just link it or show it here I think I recorded a clip of it me talking about it but I didn't upload that or anything but I'll just insert it right here I don't know if you guys can tell but for the first time I did it, it was much brighter looking because um, I used like almost half the tub, which is a mistake. I used it on like dry hair, which is good because then like the color gets absorbed more easily and it gets more vibrant, but you waste lots of product. And for me, like I just wanted a bit of color. I didn't want it to be like super saturated and like bright and everything like that. So yeah, it's the second time I did it, which is this right here. Um, I did it with wet hair, so I washed my hair. It was still wet. And then I just placed the overtone treatment all over my hair, um, minus my roots, obviously. And I left that in for like 10, 15 minutes and then I washed it out. And that's what you get. And before I did this, um, I don't know if you guys remember my hair before, but my hair before was like this orangey, like milk tea kind of color. I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, it was like this color right here. And what I did was I took two packs of um, color remover, removed the color, and it made me like orangey blonde. So after that, I basically just lightened it a little bit more to lift more of that orange color out. I mixed it with a little bit of like a purple color mixed with some like uh, 20 volume, or no, 30 volume developer. Mix that and I did it to my hair twice and it lightened it to about this much. And then after that, I just placed the overtone treatment. And then for that, whenever I wash my hair now, I'm, I basically use purple shampoo, no, not purple shampoo, purple conditioner. And basically that helps to keep my hair from looking too orangey. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for, with my hair for now. At the end of summer, or maybe just like before summer ends, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair back to black and then getting bangs again. It's like... The problem that I have with myself is that I always want to change my hair or like change my look which is such a problem because it's annoying especially having dark hair especially if you want to go lighter I don't know I don't really want to damage my hair anymore so that's why I'm just gonna dye it black I feel like this is gonna be such a long video. Oh my goodness. So anyway, so what I just did is after I color corrected, I am putting concealer on. And no, I'm not going to do foundation. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna powder my face after this. And as you can see, my face is not that even in color because again, after I came back from the cruise trip, my forehead was like more tan than the rest of my face. And that is because I don't think either I applied sunscreen all over my face minus my forehead or because my forehead protrudes out more. I have no idea. But anyways, my forehead was definitely a different shade compared to the rest of my face. 
and that is the last time I ever will go out to tan ever again because I like you know like I I've been trying to keep myself from tanning or like avoiding the sun for so many years. Might as well just try a different look and go tan. But you know what? Going out in the sun and tanning is actually not that good for your skin. And it dries up your skin and you age and you wrinkle and you get sunspots, which I get really easily. So it's better not to. It's not like I don't like a tan look or I just want to be white, but it's, I'm just thinking about my skin's health in the long run, you know? I don't want to pay for a lot of like skin treatments when I'm older. I'd rather just prevent, how do they like prevent my skin from becoming like worse than it already is i don't know but i think today i'm gonna go for no sebum because um it's a much lighter feel than the cody air spun so what i'm gonna do is flip this over open this place that underneath my eyes i've just been into just wearing concealer and powdering up if i need extra coverage so what i'm gonna do today is like I'm gonna use a powder foundation instead, like a light dusting all over my face. Placing this on my nose. Because I get oily around my nose and my chin. So taking this powder, and I really need to get one of these new ones from Maybelline. Like I still have the old packaging because for me, I don't like to buy the same product unless if I actually run out of it. That's like how I save money. So I'm not rubbing it in, I'm literally just patting it on because I've been watching lots of like make other makeup tutorials from other people and it disturbs the concealer or foundation if you just rub it in versus just patting it on so that's what I've been liking to do oh my gosh my foot's asleep <laughs> this is why I should sit properly I have really bad posture <laughs> and now that I am not in school it's even worse I feel like when I was in school like I'll be more self-conscious of like the way I sit or because I feel like people would be judging me or something like that but like now that I'm done school I feel like I care less about everything <laughs> but yeah no it's been a year that I've finished university and post uni life is I don't know I feel like super unhealthy because I remember in university like at least once a week I would go to the gym with my friends and we work out and stuff like that but like I don't know now post uni like i go out to eat often and i don't exercise as much the only exercise i get is when i go to work and i like stay on my feet all day because if you guys don't know i'm a nurse so i'm always on my feet but that's like nothing because you can just walk that amount like 10,000 steps a day even without working so i don't know i just feel super unhealthy and i weighed myself after i came back from my cruise trip and i was like ah, i ate too much on the trip so i need, really need to exercise so i'm taking this blush from majolica majorica this is pk301 it's like a pinky peachy shade honestly i have no idea what look i'm going for today but i'll see where i'm going let's see what do i want to do today i'm just gonna take warm taupe right here then put that into my crease and Lately, I've been reading more of like YouTube comments on my videos and I see that everyone's just like, oh, what ethnicity are you? It's like, where are you from? Blank, blank, blank. And I, f I realized like a lot of people who watch my videos, I know it's not a lot of people who watch my videos anyways, but a lot of you guys don't know anything about me. Like I just, make videos and I upload them but I feel like I don't really get personal or that personal on this channel because again this is not a job for me like I have a job outside of making videos because I'm a YouTube partner but I make like barely any money anyways I just do this honestly for fun and so yeah I feel like you guys don't really know much about me so I was like thinking, I was like, should I make a video about like facts about me or something like that? Like, I don't know. Anyways, so if you guys don't know, I'm Chinese and I was born in Canada. Um, my parents, they technically are Chinese, but they were born in Vietnam or they grew up in Vietnam. So yeah. And again, as I said before, I'm a nurse. I graduated last year. I'm a registered nurse and I work in postpartum 
so which means i work with moms and babies and something just fell upstairs so ignore that please i'm turning 23 soon i don't know what else is there to tell you about like i'm pretty boring we're gonna take primavera which is that gold color right here and we're just gonna pop that all over the lid oh another thing is i know i promised to make like a skincare video like a long time ago but trust me before the summer ends i promise that i will actually make a skincare video like now that like i'm happy with my skincare routine i feel like i'm more comfortable sharing it like i've got it down packed i feel like i like have products i actually like and i feel like my skin's more balanced so yeah i feel like i then i will share it i don't know but i feel like once you share a skincare routine with someone, like, I feel like it's good to know about, like, other people's skincare and everything, but it's, I would say, tailored to a specific kind of skin, because, like, not everyone has the same skin. And even if you do have, like, the same skin type, I feel like not all products will work the same for people. It also depends on where you live, too, because I feel like because I live in a very dry climate, like, literally there's no humidity here, unless if it's, like, the very heat of the summer like in like peak july or something like that it'll be like kind of humid but it's never humid here it's fairly breezy and cool so that's why my skincare is a little bit more heavy than it would be if you were to live in like say hawaii or if you were to live in asia or something like that but anyways i will share it i'm gonna take burnt orange out and just work that into the crease some more because i want a little bit more of an orangey feel more warm feeling i have no idea get ready with me's aren't tutorials they're just get ready with me so i'm sorry if it seems kind of like lazy i really don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long so i'll stop talking so much i took buen fresco which is like a purpley taupey shade and i'm just gonna blend my crease out i guess So for the bottom lash line, I think I want to do something more fun. I don't know, like should we take a blue today? A green? A red? I always do red for the lower lash lines, I'm not going to do red today. I think I'll do like a blue-purple mix for the bottom lash line today. And in my unboxing video, I talked about like going to Toronto because Seventeen's concert is going to be in Toronto. Um, I still am like not fully decided on that yet, just because they haven't released like the tickets and I'm not gonna go if I don't have tickets, you know what I mean? So what I've been obsessed with lately, like I've always been obsessed with this but even more so now is like otome games and if you guys don't know what otome games are, they're like girl oriented, like it's the target audience is for girls. It's like a dating sim game but made for girls so that's actually called otome games. It's like a Japanese term. Anyways, there are so many nowadays. So there's a whole bunch that you can play on your phone for free, obviously. And there's some that you can play on your computer as well as your DS and all that stuff like that. I'm super cheap, so I always play all the free ones. Okay, like I spent forever on my eyeliner and I think they're e it's even, I'm not sure. That's why I hate doing eyeliner and I've been doing makeup since I was young but I can still never perfect my eyeliner. Like I don't know if you can tell but I overdid my brows, like I over like shaved them. <laughs> so I'm gonna make them look more even and full and amazing. Okay, so I feel like eyebrows have balanced my face. I feel like I need a little color to my face because I look, really look dead half the time. I feel like there's a pimple forming right here. Do you see that red part? Oh my gosh. Please, not right now. <laughs> I'm probably going to spray like um, Evan facial water on my face after all my makeup to kind of calm my skin down because I feel like my skin is actually sensitive kind of because whenever I wear like makeup or use certain products my skin can get like a little red like spots like I think it's certain ingredients in certain products that irritates my skin but I still have to wear makeup well I just have to be careful about it like try not to wear makeup all the time so it doesn't irritate my skin all right so I'm just gonna pop 
pat this into my cheeks or into my cheekbones i mean i think i watched this from like the wayne goss video where he talks about like pat it in instead of rubbing it in if you want your contour to not mess up your foundation and stuff like that so i think for my lips today i'm gonna go in with mac severve this is a satin finish yo on camera this looks actually really scary but i think that this is gonna be the look for today this actually looks really grungy and not spring or summertime at all but who cares i honestly don't care when it comes to me <laughs> anymore like i just do whatever i feel like and i feel like that's what everyone should do too like just wear whatever makes you happy so yeah i think i'm just gonna blot my lips a little bit because i feel like this is gonna get on my teeth i feel like i'm missing something still like my cheeks need more color or something and this is still bothering me oh my gosh i'm gonna take another majelica majorca like blush and like it's just like an orangey one this or 301 i'm just gonna pop that in the center because i need a little bit more color to my face and again because my skin is kind of irritated i'm just gonna take this aven facial mist and i'm gonna miss my face That's still bothering me, so wait, I'm just gonna take a little bit more powder. Okay, whatever. My hair can cover that spot anyways. I feel like I should straighten my hair before I go out. But honestly, I'm really lazy these days. Like, honestly, I think the word that, like, summarizes my life is, like, lazy. Like, I don't like putting effort into anything, which is terrible. I hope you guys enjoy that get ready with me even though it was like super non chatty and I feel like it was like super rambly too and I will try to link all the products I use in the description down below and anyways I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye